Okay, since I'm going to stack these, I'm going to put them in this vise. I don't know that it will hold both pieces very securely because it may not be perfectly square. So I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and cut off a piece of it here that's wide enough to go against both those pieces. And I'm going to put that in the vise like this so that it adds some compliance to the vise so that I can clamp both pieces tightly. difficult to get this lined up perfectly. Kind of having to do it by feel on the back side of here. And yeah, that feels pretty good. Looks level. Tighten it up nice and tight. And go ahead and drill the first hole. Okay. Well, my idea of using that piece of cardboard to allow some compliance didn't work and the piece slipped and the hole that it went through this first piece fine but when it got to the second piece it it tilted downward so I cut another piece and I'm going to start over again here. This time I'm going to try it without the cardboard and see if it works any better. Appears to be tight. Let's try it. <clears throat> I don't know if that's staying there. I think I'm going to get a pair of vice grips and hold this so it can't move. Okay, I got a pair of vice grips to rip this. You know, maybe I would have been better off just to drill them separately. But this will assure a perfect alignment of those holes. Okay, let's see how that turned out. Yeah, that alignment looks good. Okay, I still have to drill these other two holes here. It's also going to be tapped so the same drill bit will work.
Okay, need to clamp the, these holes on the back side. And we're ready to tap some holes with a thread tap. Okay. Okay, the last step in drilling these holes was to um, <clears throat> open up these holes so the 1032 screw can go through here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back in the vise here and drill those holes. Okay, I work just fine now. One last little step is to clean up these burrs again. Okay.